Hi, my name is David Naylor. I'm a professor of physics at the University of Lethbridge, and uh, I lead the astronomical instrumentation group called the AIG. We have a group of about 16 people, and we're currently working on a whole bunch of projects, but two of the uh, really interesting ones, one involves the European Space Agency. This is a mission to put a very large telescope behind the moon and peer back to the farthest distances of space to examine the early universe. We're also involved in another big project called SCUBA 2. This is a project to build a camera, and this camera is going to be used at the world's largest telescope in Hawaii. Hi, I'm Ian, and I work in Dr. Naylor's research group, and I write software to help control his instruments that he builds. My software allows scientists to send commands to control the instrument and also move the parts of the instrument around. Hi, my name is Trevor. I'm also one of the software people here in the AIG group. My job is to write software that allows one computer to talk to another computer. I also write software that takes the data that we get from our instruments and turns them into tables and graphs that are easy to understand. Hi, my name is Greg. I design and build circuit boards used by my team members on some of the world's largest telescopes. And to make sure the circuit boards are working correctly, I get to use lots of cool test equipment. Hi, my name is Dan, and I help build the electrical components for the group. So what I'll do is I'll receive a design from Greg, and I'll take that design and use the software on the computer to design the printed circuit boards. I'm Robin, and I'm the Irma project scientist, and I use the expertise available in the AIG group to help me design and build my instrumentation. The Irma instrument will be used to attach to the side of a telescope, and will help those telescopes get a clearer view of the astronomical objects they are observing. I am Peter, I am the local project manager for the Herschel Spire project, which is funded by the Canadian Space Agency. We provide two things, one is data analysis software and the other is a test spectrometer. Hi, my name is Margaret and I'm a graduate student in Dr. Naylor's lab. We use the computer programs to um, calculate the spectrum of Orion so that it can help us uh, figure out how the stars are born and how they live their lives. What I love the most about my job is the project I'm working on and I just love the atmosphere. I enjoy working on the projects here in the group because they're all state of the art. I also enjoy um, taking the things that I've learned in school and applying them to real life situations. Well, being involved in space exploration means there's something, always something new and exciting to do every single day. What really excites me is that there is a real chance to take this technology and put it in doctors' hands so they can use it to diagnose sicknesses. Some people ask me what relevance the work that we do has to, uh, to the general person. It's quite interesting when you think about it. Astronomy is really basically window shopping. You're allowed to look, but you're not allowed to touch. Take the human body. If you've got some potential disease, you would much rather diagnose that disease by looking, not by touching. If you can avoid being cut open, that's better for you. And there are applications to such things as counterfeit money, identifying counterfeit art, uh, monitoring the health of forests. The technology that we're involved with has applications right here on the ground many of the things we're currently working with, we are actively seeking collaborations with people that can use this technology to benefit humanity.